People think that entrepreneurship is all about the business. That's not true. Absolutely not true. Once you know yourself, who you are, what do you want, what you already know within yourself, you will definitely be successful. That I guarantee you. Hello and welcome to another episode of Personal Development for Entrepreneurs. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about work-life balance in the new era of work from home. Um, the work from home culture that is starting to permeate um, uh, companies and corporate life in Malaysia has thrown a spanner into the whole work-life balance when where does work begin and where does personal life begin has started to become very blurred. In today's episode, I want to explore this with Dr. Venga. Um, there's so many aspects, there's so many problems as well as advantages that uh, work from home has brought about. Uh, some of those problems include stress, includes loneliness, includes, um, we're, we're talking about, you know, um, be, not being prepared for uh, productivity levels that uh, your company expects from you and so forth. So um, I'd like to explore this tonight with you, Dr. Venga. Are you, are you game? Good evening, Ikram. Yes, yes, of course. It is, yes, Ikram. What, what is easy for me to understand, because I've been through life in that way, I can understand what is the meaning of working from home. You are talking to someone who started working from home already at the age of 2021, 20, where I had to work in Singapore. Mm -hmm. Also in Singapore, meaning I have to live on my own and do the things that need to be done. And, and uh, at the same time, every evening go to Reuters and send those. Those days got no fax machine and all that. Right? Every evening got to send up Alexis. To, and you can only do it in writers. There's no office having all this, okay? There's no office. You've got to work. Plus, I was a, I was a local representative at that time. Now, that's the age huh, I started about. But then, over time, I moved to Malaysia, I came to Kuala Lumpur, and from then, I said, okay, I want a quieter life. I went into Malacca. I lived in Malacca. All my life, I've always worked from home. In, in fact, the only time I worked in an office is when we set up our own company and we have to run it. That was when I started to work in the office. Otherwise, I've always worked from home, always from a hotel room, from a, 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 a cafe or something like that, and, and travel around the world and, and still do it. Okay, uh, and, and you know what? It comes this type of working from home has been quite natural towards me. So when I wanted to, you know, this the conference table that I have in my home, you've seen it, right? Yes. My, my sons, both my sons thought I'm mad to put a conference room in the in my home. They thought like that. <laughs> Actually, they thought. And you know what, Ikram? In their homes, they don't have a conference room like this. But them, even my own son. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy. This is a fact, you, you know. You can, you, when people come to us, it's an office. Like, yeah, it is an office. I knew that as I grew older and older, I will spend a lot of time at home. I never expected the pandemic to come in, but that's a different issue altogether. Yep, yep. It's been a, a tremendous, I mean, you, you, you see me, I have that. I know what to do. But you know, how many owners of company come know how to work from home? See, they left home. They left home and then they went back at 10 o'clock at night. They were never at home. To sleep, yes. Weekend, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, let's, let's go out and have some matan and all. But they didn't have. Today, the situation is very different. Ikram, there's going to be a lot and lots and lots of misunderstanding, traumatic pain, uh, relationship difficulty. Uh, even for that matter, uh, differences of, of uh, you know, to the extent that things may not work out the way you, you wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is going to be a change, great, great change, you know. And, and it's, a, it's a lot. So it's not easy. What we are going to discuss is not easy. It takes, it takes a lot to understand. But like, as I learned, I'm 82, you know. 
60 years ago, I started working out of home. I wrote my report too on yeah. Saturday. I used my Saturday to write all the reports and send it off. Post it, go to the mailbox, drop it, blah, blah, blah. All that things huh, have to do it yourself. I work like that. So what is easy for me, it's not. I try to introduce the work from home, yet even in my own occupation, okay? And I must tell you, mm -hmm. okay, I started it and then I left already. <laughs> okay. It didn't succeed, huh? The it whole work from home thing. It didn't succeed. Let, 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 me, okay, uh, let, me, let me start with you as an individual working from home. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, we're social animals, Binga. How did you deal with um, the loneliness? Like, you know, on your own, uh, no, no company in your workplace? Yeah, very good question, Vikram. Because you know what? We, I grew up as an individual. And I grew up with lots of kids. Huh? The, the one that came together with me. Huh? I mean, meaning that, uh, the people, the man who brought me up here, kids, but they were all grown up people. No? I was a youngest. Okay. Now, as I grew up, I became very independent. That is the, because I had no mother, no father. I don't have to talk to someone for something. I don't know about playing. So I'm a, in that way, uh, let's say that. I deprived myself of everything. I don't play games. I don't know football. I, I, I don't know play marble. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it was always uh, work. Wash the plate, wash the table, clean this, clean that, get that done and do that. Nobody has tell me to do that. I know I have to do that. It's my responsibility. Because why? Mm -hmm. The man is feeding me food. So if I want food, I got to do that. So you see, I took on the responsibility and began to understand that talking is not good at workplace. Working must be done. If I disagree with something, I must talk to the owner. If I feel this is not right, that's a man to talk to. What is there to discuss and talk about things that are unnecessary? Yet, at the same time, people that came into the coffee shop, they were talking about things. I, I think they don't even understand what they were talking about, Lana. But they had a lot to talk about, Lana, as to how the Japanese was like this and how the British is like. They, 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 they talked as if they knew. And that's when I begin to learn and understand that most people do not know what they are talking about. But now, of course, Google is there. They think Google, Google got all the answer. Personal experience, they don't have. Mm -hmm. Personally, this is very important. Personal. That's how I discovered my, and, and I could work on my own. I could travel, Ikram. I could travel uh, from length and breadth of any country by myself. I, need, I don't need a companion. Mm -hmm. by motor, stay in a hotel, okay? I, but but when I form certain habits, like for instance, I'll stay in the same hotel, all that, but that, that's me. But working as an individual is something that you develop over time, okay? But you have to do it very consciously. Like, you know, take this, huh? when I got married, okay? Monday to Friday, I'm out of the house. Mm -hmm. So my wife, she was working at the time. She goes to work too, but I'm not home. She has to manage herself. When I have a child, okay, then that child, as you are growing up, okay, this was the responsibility. And, and, and Rose took care of that. Mm -hmm. and, and still Monday to Friday, I go out and work, work, work. Go out, leave, leave and go out. So all my life, I have actually been uh, sort of a, accustomed to being alone. Yes, yes, I met my business partners or business customers and all that. 
and spend some time with them, but it's always about improving their business, making them better, how can I assist them, and all that. But never about your personal life and my personal life. And those kind of things I never indulge in. I stay out of it. Mm -hmm. So when I went back on, on the weekend, yes, I had some time with my children to say that I, 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 can, I cannot say that I brought my two sons up by myself. I never did. They also brought themselves up by themselves, but with the assistance of Rose all the time. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah, yeah. But many of us, we, we grew up with our mother. Our mother was always making sure that you're going in the right way. They took care of you, pampered you, and looked after you. Mm -hmm. So it's not an attachment, but because you have been nurtured. You know, a human being is a health, helpless child, you know, when it's born, it's very helpless. Yep. See, na nature, <laughs> nature is very good. Have you ever seen a helpless animal? Unless it's broken a wing or a leg, usually no. Okay, usually no, right? Yep. Because why? Nature does not allow those which cannot survive to live long. Human, on the other hand, are different. We need that assistance, that help mm -hmm. to bring up to a certain level. Correct, yeah. In, in, in a way, in a way, it also stunts us. Like, our growth also stunts because we don't grow by ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we are assisted to grow. So we are guided to grow systematically, what do you say? <laughs> controlled, the mind is being controlled. You go this way, and therefore, after the 1950s and work, when the war ended, everybody go to school, come back from school. After that, you pass your exam and immediately you get a job. Yep. That's your life, you must get a job. Uh, you, must, uh, you must make sure that you have an income and you must bring back the income and so on. You, you see, the, the, the way humans are born, go to school, come back from school, then now go to university, come back to university, and then start work immediately. But that is going to change, because totally change. Because 7.4 billion human beings, where is the workforce? That's why you find people are moving. People from various parts of the world are moving to industrialized country for one reason, to earn a living, yep. to bring up their children. You understand? This is, this is the trip. I, I, we, we, we have seen it ourselves in Malaysia, right? Mm -hmm. All our work <clears throat> are made. The agricultural work, all that is gone completely. Am I correct or not? Yes. Local people are not willing to work in that kind of job because we have always played at the local key. We do not pay respect to that kind of job. Mm -hmm. So we cannot blame anyone. Oh, why are we importing so much of vegetation from Australia, from this and from that, from China? Well, we don't have the labor force. So, you know, this means huh, social interaction. Social interaction is less than that. So where is our social interaction? It's never in the home. It's always at workplace. Correct. Always after workplace. Let's go to the bar, have a drink before we go back. Okay? You know, social yep. interaction. When we go home, it was like going home, mother, father, brother, sister, and then we have to do a few things, and then wow, we went to bed. Next morning, we are out of it again. We can something to do with this, that, the other girlfriend, la, this, that, that, yeah. And all this have evolved because we were doing a job in a company. Whereas you look at it, business people, people who create their own business. They use the workplace, the shop they work with as a home 
as a workplace, interacted and arranged in such a way that your children did better than them. This is, and they got educated, they got a job, they went overseas. That's, that's the life up to now. This pandemic has put a stop to all of them. You, father, must take care of the child. You, mother, must take care. I must, be, I, I didn't have that. I, 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 I didn't need not do that. I didn't do that. You understand? Yeah. So, yeah. so what is easy for me, working on my own, is maybe difficult for a lot of people who need this interactive, inter, uh, to talk to someone. I, 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 I see all my nephews and nieces out there in the world, or even here in this country, they work from home now, okay? Whichever work they do, they also find time, they also find, within the working time, they find time to make sure that they meet in the same house, have lunch together, mm -hmm. which did not happen when they were working in the office. Socializing has stopped completely, which means, huh, which means they begin to understand their own wife and their own children. It gives you time for reflection, how to bring a family. It gives you that. Yep. But those kind of things you don't have, because why? If you come from a, a home which nobody, your, your dad or your, your, your relation, anybody, eh? as a, as a, you will never see them come home and do homework in the home. Have you ever seen them do that? No. I okay. rarely saw my dad do work at home. You see? <clears throat> see what I think? So things are changing. And one of the worst things that we are doing now, you know, we're adapting models that applies in the European world, you know. Mm -hmm. What works there will not work here. Very important. For example, can you? Our culture is like that. My mother, if I had a mother, she can disturb me anytime she likes. Mm -hmm. I, will be, I will circumvent that. You know, my, my children can run around the house, you know, they're used to that. Suddenly say, no, I'm walking here. Don't come here. What do you think the child will take? Upset. Upset. So it has to be handled. We are going to have a lot of social problems, which drives us to the next step. <clears throat> you see, we send kids <clears throat> before kindergarten, preschool. Right? And then we had the kindergarten. Mm -hmm. And then we went to the primary school, right? Yep. In all cases, somebody's looking after the kids, right? Correct. Now, you have to look after the kids. Where did you get the skill? Where have you learned the skill? Have anyone taught you the skill? Have you, have you even a, a concept? <laughs> How to bring up a concept meaning reading, you know, understanding yeah. like that. Huh? You know, all you know is from the movie. Correct. And movie, 99.9% .9 is bluff. You know that, right? Yeah. So we are trying to behave in the house like you see in the television drama. Isn't it too much? Huh? Absolutely. Huh? You see where I'm getting at, okay? So what's easy for me is damn difficult for all the people who are listening to this. It's a very difficult thing to do. So you ask me a question, hey, Benga, where is the balance? Okay, this is something that you need to find it yourself. My balance may be your balance. Your balance may not be my balance. How do, we, how do you work with it? Mm -hmm. How do you make that happen? It has to be built together. You, your wife, your children must sit down, spend more time understanding one another. Like, like, you know, even work. 
at the present moment, because you're working at home, your boss can call you midnight also. You're working from home, ma. That's one of the biggest complaints I get from uh, employees that I talk speak to is that now they are accessible 24-7. They've yeah. got a laptop, internet, and a phone, and therefore, uh, you know, uh, uh, employers or their managers feel that they can call them anytime. Okay. You know, Ikram, I too have spoken to some of them. So I gave them advice. This is, first of all, I'm talking to people who are already employer. They employ people. Mm -hmm. But I also talk to people who are employees, not of the same boss. Right? I give them advice. Like employer, you must understand that it's not easy for your employee to work on his or her own, having children, having a husband or a wife, it's not easy. So you, as the owner of the company, need to behave better. So what do you mean, Venga? So for instance, you must arrange with them, hey, this time I call you. Arrange for a time in the morning between 11 and 12 o'clock, in the afternoon from 3 to 4 o'clock, I call you. Keep, that, keep the line free. I can talk to you a few things, arrange for two slots. Mm -hmm. So you can have a discussion with your employee. Some yep. kind of a system must be built up. Don't call your, uh, your employee at seven o'clock at night when they are about to have a dinner. What will happen? You are creating problem for the employee. Likewise, as an employee, whatever you are supposed to deliver, you must deliver instead of them chasing you. So, in other words, whatever got to be done must be done within a frame of time. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, there are many techniques that you should employ different from what you used to do when you were working in the office and out the office. This is at home, different environment. I have had personal experience seeing this happen in Europe where women with children and no husband or husband has left, lived in the house and became more productive not coming to work than coming to work itself. Mm -hmm. Because they themselves found a method of working and can deliver double the work that they used to deliver uh, in the office. He has calculated that. How is that possible? It is possible to be more productive working if, from home. If you are a person who is responsible to understand where are you busy or where you need to be busy for the home, mm -hmm. where you have to spend some time with your kids, okay? And when is the time you should do the work that you are supposed to do and do it in a faster way, a better way. Because why? Everything's within your control. Nobody. But their work must be such that they can do it themselves. I don't have to wait. Like, that's an example. That's an example. If you are a draftsman, mm -hmm. okay, drawing, you have to draw and draw it, finish, and submit it to the next level. For approval or whatever that is. Correct. As an architect, you have to assign work to be given to them. Your assigning must be very good that everybody finish the job. Whichever has to be done within a week, all of them send back, you can put it together. So do you know <coughs> how to do that? Don't assume you know. Huh? So lots of organizing, lots of thinking, lots of time spent understanding what you need to do at what time. So all these, are it's a psychological problem. It is a social problem. It is a problem of the individual who has never been used to doing this. It's like this. Just to give you some example. Are soldiers trained for the war? That's a good question. I'm really not sure. Um, mm -hmm. They are not trained for the war. They are trained how to how to go and shoot and kill and all the rest of it. They are trained to do those rough things, staying out in the tent and all the rest of it. Yeah. But only those 
who have been through the war themselves, and none of them are alive now, all dead already, know what they went through. And nowadays, nowadays, any amount of training and all that given to them, when the actual thing happened, I doubt whether they will be able to perform as they would if they were in a real situation. There will be some gap. Mm -hmm. okay. For the American uh, forces, it's different because why? They have fought all the wars from the time the United States of America started having a civil war till now, they have a war. They're having war every day. You know this for a fact. If it's not Afghanistan, it'll be Vietnam. If it's not Vietnam, it'll be North Korea. It'll be some bloody war. So soldiers are treated into that. They're used to it. Mm -hmm. But you cannot say the same about Malaysian soldiers, can you? No. No, you can't. So, so you're different. Than so in that way, we as employees, we are not used to working from home at all because our, our fathers never did it. Mm -hmm. Your father never did it. Yeah. It's you are doing it. Maybe your kid will learn from you. And therefore, that behavior will automatically change that I should not uh, trouble dad because dad is having a conversation. But otherwise, right now, she will walk in and walk out. And you've got to find a way to tolerate and understand. Because if you put that, don't come in, do not disturb, then they think that you're not the father. Do you understand? Yeah. So it's a whole lot of psychological issues that I have to deal with. Now the question is that, I mean, this is a very big subject, no? mm -hmm. very big subject. Okay? So my advice, what can you do? What is possible for you to do? A, you must dictate. You, as the employee, must dictate when you're going to work, how you're going to work, okay? What time can your boss or customers uh, interrupt you or at least communicate with you? You must set specific times for that. Then the people in the home, your wife who's also working, can interact with you and, and fit in, fit in, and find something that is amicably acceptable to the family. Yep. Ah, this is it easy? No, this is no. this is the, one of the hardest things. <laughs> you understand the issue I'm talking about, right? So, as an employee, you not need to know your responsibility. Okay, as an employer, you should also know your responsibility. So, how do you put it together? How do you put bring the two together so it can work amicably? The solution is not in some books. The solution is within yourself. You can discuss it, talk very openly. And when you talk to people very openly, eh, very transparently, you understand. See, I am, I am talking to people at the professional level. Okay, professional people who are working <clears throat> and how to handle the issues at home and how to deal with those. Those are the things I'm talking to them. Correct. Yeah. And, and, and you know what? Unless they are also at the same time open, open their mind, okay, see things from a different perspective, you will always not agree upon. That's why there's so much of problem. So much of difficulty. You know, Ikram, one of the things that we're going to see, you know, old people, mm -hmm. they retire at the age of 60, am I correct? Correct. They're thinking about 65, right? I'm not sure if it's implemented already, but yeah, it's it's 60 or 65. Okay, tell me this, Vikram. If at 60, our life expectancy in Malaysia, what is it now, Vikram? 73, 74. Okay, so one decade. 60 mean 70. I believe, huh? I believe the statistics, if done well, 
will show probably our span is about uh, roughly 77 and above to 80. Now, in Japan, it's gone to 100 already. <laughs> so in our case, huh, it'll be about 80. Two decades, you know, after retirement, what will you be doing? Another subject, right? Correct. But as a child, as a son, as a daughter, who is going to handle the old, old parents? Who is handling them? They handle themselves? That's, I mean, um, <clears throat> there's been a rise in old folks' home, in, you know, um, hospice and um, all these, these, these elderly care centers in recent times, which wasn't part of uh, the Asian culture maybe 20 years ago. Yes, they can't handle them. I'm 82, no? Mm -hmm. See, what I'm saying to you, slowly, steadily, I have learned to manage myself. No children live with me. I got to handle my wife, okay? And my sister-in-law, who's also old, okay? Now, as I have learned to handle them, you as young people going out to the world, business world, you know, you must look upon this and say, hey, how do I manage this? You don't hope to come by itself, you know? It cannot. You got to sit down and talk about it. Correct. So that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that this working from home is not just a simple thing. As you know very well, even in the, in the United States, companies are demanding that workers must get back to work. And these are financial people, uh, uh, management, all sorts of things, okay? They finally found out that a human, when talking to one another, develops idea. On their own silo, they do nothing. They get nothing. It's the interaction that brings about new innovation. Discussion, workshops, and all sorts of things. You can't do that now, can you? A bit harder, yes. If you can't do a proper workshop. People interact with one another, talk and, you know, getting angry or whatever it is. Okay? You don't have that. So in this, in this pandemic, it, at home when you are together, you are bound to get all of this. Misunderstanding with your wife, misunderstanding with your children. If you have a dad living with you or mother living with you, all that huh, got to be managed. It is, is it that easy? No, it's not. It's definitely not. But you know, we, come, we are going about as if, oh, all that is simple. <laughs> yeah. Venga, we have two more minutes, actually. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I think you know, what we've done today is we've gone into a lot of the problems, but I propose that we should have a part two to this where we also start to talk about um, the solutions. What, what should people be doing for all these things? It's, it's been very informative. Uh, we've, we've looked at, um, you know, all these different, you've, you've raised a lot of valid points actually uh, that's happening. And uh, maybe in part two, we can go a little bit deeper into this together with the solutions. Sure. sure. Uh, all I'm saying is, my <clears throat> suggestion is my suggestion, what I have done to come up. But I, at the same time, I suggest this, you know, that all the people that are listening to this program also can think about solution because the solution is not in the books. That's what I'm saying. It's not it's some university study. <laughs> it is the study that each individual has to do in his own home. Sure, we will do that. But Ikram, the reality is that sometimes we have no clarity. We can't see things properly. Yeah. And when it's a little, little cloudy and you can't see, like, you know, moving around like that. So you, you have a lot of this, oh, I can do it, you know, the macho. Huh? No, it's not that easy. Yep. So definitely let's explore this in the next session. Sure. Um, our next uh, face, uh, personal development for entrepreneurs is happening on the 1st of September. 
as That's usual, right. it's on the first Wednesday of the month. So happens it's on the 1st of uh, September next. We'll see you there. And it's going to be interesting because you're going to get a continuation and we're going to look at possible solutions to what we've just been discussing today. Thank you very much for joining us on today's Personal Development for Entrepreneurs. Uh, this is Ikram saying good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Have a, a safe, uh, safe home and stay, stay safe. Please take care of yourself.